So this video is about uh, using Gitpod to load up a Linux machine online in the browser. Um, while I'm introducing this, I am just going to activate Gitpod. So what you do is right at the start of this URL, you write gitpod.io slash number. There is a, um, a, a plugin to do that automatically, but it's really not that hard to do. Uh, anyway, that is building the Git pod. Let's have a look here and explain this again. Uh, I want to load up basically a virtual Linux um, screen. And it's not going to be perfect, but in that we should be able to run Go. Here's the, uh, it's just going to be CD into the workspace Go, uh, Go run main. So that's going to activate a Go example program. Uh, to run Firefox, it's just going to be typing Firefox. I'm not sure why I made those. I was just to remind myself. So, what is happening here in this other spot is it's building a Docker image, and then it's going to run it on Gitpod, which is based on a GitHub repository. You can act activate Gitpod on any repository. You don't need these two special files and it'll load up their, their base image. Anyway, let's have a quick look at what's going on here. Some of this might be reasonably complex. Uh, by the way, it's good that I've got time to talk because this, this thing here, it does take a few minutes. Once it's built once, it's a little bit quicker. It takes about two minutes, but so this is probably gonna be three or four minutes. So let's look at the Docker file. Um, it's a bit of an art getting used to these things. So it's loading the basic. Uh, ooh. What the heck is it doing? From Gitpod workspace full VNC. Uh, that's the basic uh, VNC workspace. That's not normally what I what I load up. Okay, then oh, and here we go. Uh, I, this is not a very good Docker file. Uh, it runs the app get update, and then it's installing a couple of things. Notice it's installing Firefox. That's your your web browser. And then this always is there. It basically cleans stuff up. Then user git pod, and I just copied this from another uh, thing I, I ran, and we're not doing any of the user git pod, so we switch back to user root. Um, so that really simple, doc simple Docker file. Let's just see how our build's going. Uh, ooh, some things, whoa, it's already done. So that was really fast. Let me just quickly have a look at the git pod YAML file. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. So it's got some funny things here. Checkout location, workspace location is just backslash. Uh, there's the true Docker file. Oh yeah, that's just loading the Docker file we were just looking at. Here's a port, 68, uh, 6080 is a port. It's HTTP protocol. Uh, it's running Xterm. Oh, this is something I came up with. Um, Xterm's a little uh, terminal window, but it's positioning it here. Um, and it looks like it's giving it default width and height. Oh no, that's probably um, its location. So this is width and height, and that's X and Y, so top left. Uh, it's awaiting for the port, it's running the X term, and it's doing a preview. Um, that looks like it's, no idea what that's doing. Um, and this is running those two uh, bash files. So let's see what's happening. Uh, we've got a service is listing on 59, but it's not exposed, so we can expose this. Uh, there's our port 680. Uh, it's reading the readme file. This is an online browser. Let's just have a look at what it's done. Um, let's open preview on this one. And that looks to me like uh, the Linux workspace, where you could go in here and type ls and view. There you go. You can view that. Um, let's see what's in this other exposed port. Uh, I'm going to open it in the browser so it bumps into this window. And that one didn't respond. Not a big deal. Uh, let's go into ports and open this preview. Uh, let me pull myself out of the way a bit and open in browser just so that we've got our Linux page um, in the browser. So you can do, um, as I did before, a list 
Uh, Docker file go. Um, let's try my go just for the heck of it. Um, oh, what is that? We've got this run s8. So let's try that. Um, a01 tab uh, run go and let's see what it does. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. But it might be good. There we go. Uh, that ran a Go program on our virtual Linux uh, computer. Let's try the other one. Dot slash uh, AO2. I can barely read it there, but hit tab and let's see what happens now. There we go. There we have a web browser using Linux. Um, Let's load up my website. Uh, probably a good idea to spell it properly. Com. And yeah, web browsing on some other machine. Uh, this would be kind of interesting. I'm just going to mess around here. Let's try a machine learning program that runs a quadratic. And this should be trained. Yeah, here I'm doing machine learning from one of my pages on a Linux machine, on the cloud. Um, it's really still work fine. I bet I can't do anything with sound because you're not really connected up to sound, you're not connected up to uh, the webcam. But uh, there you go. I think that's, that's a wrap.